Hi, this is Dr. Robert Chow reporting from Northern Virginia for Room Now live coverage of ACR 2023. I wanted to focus on an abstract, uh, really looking at a head-to-head -head study. Uh, we all love head-to-head -head studies, and this is abstract 0522, which was a subgroup analysis of the SURPASS uh, trial from last year. Um, just to recap on that, that was a head-to-head -head phase three randomized controlled trial uh, on secukitimab and, and adalimumab biosimilar in axial spondylarthritis patients in terms of radiographic progression. And they found similar efficacy, and both were equally uh, efficacious in preventing radiographic progression in these patients. This subgroup analysis looked for differences by baseline syndesmophytes and CRP status. So in the over 859 patients, 76% had an elevated CRP level, 73% had syndesmophytes, and 54% had both elevated CRP levels and syndesmophytes at baseline. The radiographic outcomes at two years were similar in both treatment arms, regardless of these predictive factors, such as syndesmophytes or the elevated CRP levels. However, independently, the group without syndesmophytes showed the least radiographic progression in all treatment groups. And this was followed by the group without elevated CRP levels. Of course, conversely, the group with elevated CRP levels and then the group with syndesmophytes had higher uh, radiographic progression. Although neither syndesmophytes nor elevated CRP levels distinguished themselves between either treatment arms, we can say that the presence of syndesmophytes was a stronger predictor of radiographic progression than CRP levels overall. So I think this is something I will definitely take to my practice in treating uh, axial spinal arthritis patients you know, focusing even closer on syndesmophytes and CRP levels. So thank you for tuning into Room Now for live coverage of ACR 2023. Please follow me on X at Dr. RBC. Thanks.